right, good morning YouTube. Matt with ASL Dumpsters, back with another video. And today's video, you guessed it by the thumbnail. Um, if you're watching this, you're probably interested in certain types of towing accessories for your tow rig. And this one is about what I put on just yesterday on my 2022 Chevy 2500 Duramax. And the reason I put it on is because of our, I mean, one, I tow basically every day, whether it's our dumpsters, dump trailers. Soon I'll be having uh, some different style of dumpsters. I'll get into that in another video, but we also have a big heavy fifth wheel uh, that we tow for our family. So uh, the pin weight on that is about 2,100 pounds, which is still well within my payload. But however, it does, squat this thing quite a bit so we are this is basically going to be kind of a review over how i feel about the timbrins and if you don't know what timbrins are basically you take out your bump stops in the rear and replace them with these timbrins which are a progressive rubber spring and what they do is as your they take up more of the space between your frame and your axle than what would be taken up from your bump stops. And what happens is, is there's a little gap underneath the timbrin and your axle. So your stock ride is close to stock quality as it can when you're unloaded. But when you are loaded, uh, whether you have a bumper pull, a fifth wheel, a gooseneck, and you start squatting, that rubber progressive spring comes into contact with your axle and starts to act as a load management piece. So the way Timbrin describes it is more weight you put on it, the harder it works. So I have had, this is my third set of Timbrins on a vehicle. I had them on a 2015 Duramax, three quarter ton. I had them on my 2019 Ram. I also had airbags on my 2019 Ram after the Timbrins because uh, the coil spring suspension in those fifth gen Rams and the three quarter tons, not quite the payload capacity you want in terms of load management when you start hauling real heavy. This first part of this video will be a review about towing an unloaded trailer. I have my PJ 14K dump trailer behind me. Uh, it is a four foot wall, so it's a taller one. And it's about, I want to say empty, I think it's 4,000, 4,500, somewhere around there. But it's a 14 kg VWR trailer and it's unloaded, totally empty. The way I'm feeling it right now, I, I installed these last night. They, by the way, they take 15 minutes to install. It's fantastic. They feel pretty close to stock. Now I felt when I loaded the trailer after installing the Timbrins again, uh, I did check to see what kind of gap in between the timber and the axle. And what I found is there's about a half inch to maybe a quarter inch of space between the timber and the axle as it's loaded. And this is with an empty trailer. So you're still not making contact. And this is how I have it set up with my hitch height the uh, adjustable tongue on the trailer, this is how I have it set up. If you have it set up different to have more tongue weight, you could probably contact those timbrins with an unloaded trailer. Um, however, so I'm going down a pretty bumpy road right now, if you can't tell. And, um, you know, I, I think either timbrin has made some improvements as far as the progressive rate of their springs. So when you're not fully loaded down contacting those springs all the time. It's not as, when your axle comes into contact with that timbrin, it's not as a, it's not a jarring motion. So, uh, which was one of the reasons I got rid of them in the past and went to airbags. So yeah, my unloaded opinion, towing an unloaded trailer opinion with timbrins is great. Uh, you feel super stable. Your back end definitely uh, has less sway. It had, your trailer dictates less of what your truck will do. Your truck is dictating more of what your trailer will do as far as side to side motion and anything like that. So I will have a full trailer. I got to pick up my other one later uh, after I drop this one off. I will do a loaded dump trailer review 
on that uh, in the next section. And then I'll also, on Wednesday, today's Monday, the 2nd, and it is snowing in Colorado, but I will do a review with our fifth wheel loaded on it. So uh, we are going camping for our first time this spring uh, in our new fifth wheel. So I will have a review on that as well as part of this video. So stay tuned. Uh, if you're interested in Timberins or uh, air springs um, for your truck for towing and hauling, uh, definitely watch this video. We'll be back. All right, uh, so I'm about to hitch up my raw max. Here, I got a full load. Uh, I'm probably gonna skip the landfill day because it's gonna be muddy as heck. But I just wanna show you guys real quick for those of you who don't know what timbins are, that is a timber and bumper spring. It replaces the stock bumper uh, bump stop, which basically only comes down to about here. And the gap unloaded down there should be from a half inch to an inch when you're unloaded. So right now I'm unloaded, but I've, all I've got back here is my fifth wheel hitch. I'll be doing a review on that. That's a Demco Recon. It slips over, it converts your goose ball into a fifth wheel pin. So uh, we are going to get this hitched up and then I'll do a review while driving. All right, so we are loaded. I've put in a couple miles so far with this uh, full load trailer. I did check the Timbrins uh, as I went down and loaded the, the hitch. I loaded it down onto the truck with this heavy of a load. It's just driving it. It doesn't feel I'm not, you know, anywhere near two tons of uh, payload on that trailer. But I'd say because it's wet, um, and the looking at the material they loaded, I'm somewhere around a ton, ton and a half, make the best. So, you know, I'm towing about six, three tons to three and a quarter, or something like that. Uh, the timbrins are in contact with the axle. They are not compressed by any means, but they do come in contact with the axle, which means I had about an inch, inch and a half of droop or of, of squat in the rear. So the feeling, um, I would say one is definitely way better control as far as the trailer dictates to your tow rig. Again, this is a three quarter ton, so this does not have overload springs. Driving around town like I am right now, I'm about to get on the highway here in a minute. Definitely more stiff, which I'm okay with. It's not horrible, it's not jarring. Um, but you can definitely tell from the camera, I think, uh, it's a little more stiff, but yeah, I mean, it, you know, honestly, the more weight you put on, the better these work, uh, these timber and springs work. It's our fifth wheel. I expect to have a way smoother ride, uh, when I'm hitched up to that here in a couple days. Around town driving review with a fully loaded dump trailer. This is my 14K Raw Max. This one has four foot walls, walls as well. Um, it's a little bit heavier than my PJ. It's got thicker walls, hydraulic cylinder for the lift. Uh, it's got a thicker frame. So it's a little bit a heavier duty trailer. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I feel way in control. It's not a jarring ride. I like it. So yeah, Timbrins doing well so far. All right, so we're on the highway now doing about 65. And yeah, just as I suspect, expected with the, uh, you know, wheels at a higher rate of speed, spin rate, um, this ride is super smooth on the highway. Um, you feel way more in control. It's definitely uh, better planted in the rear with the full load on the back in that trailer. So yeah, I mean, highway so far with this type of a trailer and a full load, love them. Timbrins, definitely helping so far. It was a good investment. Now, I do wanna talk a little bit about why I went with these over uh, an air spring. And the number one reason is pretty obvious, but it's cost. Air ride is a fairly expensive accessory to put on your truck. 
Now, I will say they're, the set that I had on my 19 Ram were awesome. They did, uh, I never had an issue. The only issue I had once was my own fault because I had an airline come in contact with my exhaust and uh, popped a little hole in the airline, so I just I replaced the line. Uh, but that was my own fault. But as far as the, I had the uh, wireless air, uh, wireless one compressor and manifold system. Uh, I had it mounted to my frame, so on the outside of the cab, you know, it wasn't protected really from anything. I did kind of tuck it behind some stuff, which protected it from road debris. But yeah, I mean, it was exposed to the elements. It went all the way through the winter no issues uh, as long as you kept batteries up in your controller or had your connection to your phone over Bluetooth to your compressor uh, they aired up and aired down exactly as expected every time uh, they were they were great but that's about you know you can count on for a system like that with your compressor and I installed them myself it took about three hours I want to say to get it installed and wired up and plumb all the plumb all the airlines um, it took about, I want to say cost-wise, maybe a little over 1500 bucks, 1700 bucks. Don't, don't quote me on that, but yeah, if you, if you add a compressor into that system, uh, which I highly recommend, the cost is about five times as much as these Timberins. These Timberins are, I bought them off Amazon for about 220 bucks. So, you know, if you take into account, it, again, this is, you have to think about what your your use is for these how much are you towing what what are you towing what's your payload capacity what's your tongue weight uh, if you're towing a fifth wheel what's your pin weight for that um, how many you know are you towing a family with you are you hauling loads of dirt every day you know for me i'm hauling these dump trailers every day basically so cost wise cost to benefit ratio was just a no-brainer for the timbrins and yeah Honestly, here on the highway, going over some little bumps here and there, uh, nothing jarring at all. Feels super solid, doing 70 miles an hour. Yeah, he's going. So, so there's a bridge. Just got onto a bridge here. So the bridge expansion joint. Here's another one. Super, super smooth. So yeah, the more weight you put on these Timberins, the better they act, is, is my experience. The last time I put a really heavy load on a set of Timberins was my 19 Ram. I had my golf cart in the bed and our travel trailer, which was about nine and a half, ten thousand 10,000 pounds. It was a pretty good sized travel trailer. And they were, that was the best ride towing wise I ever had. Those Timberins just, they worked so well with all that weight sitting on them. And that's what I expect when I load the fifth wheel later this week. So yeah, highway ride, Timberins, solid. All right guys, I got the fifth wheel hitched up now. So we're on a slight downhill here, but um, this is our Cedar Creek 377BH. It's got a pin weight of about 2,100 pounds. And um, so I'd say, I didn't measure it or anything, but I'd say there's significantly less droop um, sag but you can see the Timberins there definitely in contact and helping out managing this load. Yeah, I mean, this is it loaded up and I'll do a video here driving. All right guys, so we are in the truck. We are coming out of the section that my father-in-law lives in where we store our camper. And I'd say right off the bat, coming down this dirt road, the, let's swing out onto the road here the uh, stability with the Timberins is much better uh, compared to not having them. You know, with all that pin weight in the bed of your truck, it is uh, a huge help having these back there as far as stability and uh, feeling control on the steering wheel and the feeling that the truck gives you on how the trailer is adding um, or you know trying to control your truck there's a little bit of chucking some of that is due to the style of uh, i believe the actual fifth wheel pin that's on the camper is a roto box and then we have the 
Demco Recon hitch in the bed, which is the gooseneck ball conversion fifth wheel hitch. But yeah, I mean, with the Timberlands, I feel much more stable, and I'm sure on the highway it's going to be even better. So, yeah, I'd say, you know, if you're looking for if you're looking for a reason to get Timberlands, especially if you haul a fifth wheel or heavy loads, uh, whether it be in dump trailers, uh, car, you know, car transports, or hauling heavy in the bed. Uh, especially with a three-quarter ton where you don't have those helper springs from the factory Timberlands are a no-brainer. They cost under 250 bucks in most cases and let's See so we're coming up to 40 miles an hour here. Yeah, it's just a way more stable ride You have a much you have much more control feeling over your rig and what you're towing and it gives you less sag in the rear with all that weight back there so we may do some other reviews on these at a later date but as far as first impressions you know going through this video we've done an unloaded dump trailer a loaded dump trailer a stock ride and now with a fifth wheel a 13,000 pound fifth wheel behind it um, Timrins uh, are super helpful and I would highly recommend them and they're easy to install you know, it took me about 15 minutes total. Definitely consider them if you guys are looking at getting airbags or any other type of helper spring. Timberns are a great maintenance-free way to add more stability and load support and load handling uh, for your tow rig. So thanks a lot, guys. By the way, we are over 300 subscribers now. I really appreciate everybody. If you find anything on my channel uh, entertaining, helpful, insightful, or otherwise, give this video a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.